So uh, it's Mitch again here at the Bloodshed and continuing with our discussion about the insides of the new battery that's being built out of the Volta box uh, cartridges of A123-26650 uh, lithium ion nanophosphate cells. Uh, I'm now starting to put the BMS circuitry onto these modules and I was just going to show you a little bit of that and then talk a little bit about how we're going to interconnect these modules in both parallel and serial. So this is what a, a finished module would look like. This is a fully functional BMS board, and uh, BMS stands for Battery Management System. This board, as it sits right here, is responsible for uh, managing these 64 cells that are inside this cartridge, and then it has another board that allows you to interconnect multiples of these cartridges to a bigger outside computer that then manages the whole battery as a whole. Um, so what I've got to do today is to install these circuit boards that I got from VoltaBox and with these interconnect boards on top of all of these 56 modules. That's fun stuff. So once I get that done, then I'll begin to interconnect these modules together. So remember I talked about using these in parallel and serial. So for a 2P configuration, we're going to be using a 3 8 by uh, 3 quarter inch copper block, pure copper. And what will happen is these are being uh, machined and drilled and tapped so that they will fit precisely on the inside with screws. So they've been threaded. So we'd screw from the, better to show you here. So we'd screw in through the slot holes and lock these two. Now once that's done, these two now act as essentially one battery. Okay. Now what we would do then is we would take a pair of these modules and another pair and rotate this one pair so that you have positive and negative. And in that case, if the four are going to be adjacent in the, in the module, the bigger case rather, we'd use the longer copper bar, same size, and you would then connect four modules together. So you'd have your two in parallel, and the next two have been flipped around, so you go positive, negative, positive, negative. So then you've got essentially a big serial chain of the battery stepping up the voltages. So when I connect these two together, they still have an overall voltage uh, at full charge of 14.4 volts per cluster, per tube. And then you start putting them into series and you start stepping the voltage up. So you take 14.4 is the absolute max charge. You'd step that up every time you add two modules to the series. And it's that simple. Install the boards, connect with the coppers, we won't connect all of them, obviously. We'll put some of them down in the boxes and then finish the coupling inside the boxes. So I thought I'd give you a little update on that. I thought you guys might like to see a little look at the one half. You see those four modules over there? Let's see if I can figure out how to do the zoom on this thing. There you go. You see those four modules are charging as a single block with a high-powered charger? That's four. And then here are the rest of one half of the total battery. That's 28 of the VoltaVox modules. Pretty cool. We are now in the last step of what we need to do manually to get this battery ready for assembly. So as you saw earlier, we put these uh, modules in clusters of four in parallel and give them a, a big crude hard charge. And now what we're doing is we're using this BMS's ability to go in and balance to monitor each row of cells that are in series and this big cluster of wires, don't be alarmed by that, all that is is leads that allows us to do each row of series inside this module. So this charger is looking at uh, the charge levels in each row and when it sees one that's higher than the others it burns off some of that energy then it applies a little bit more in the other rows and eventually it will stop when all of these rows are balanced out at uh, 3.6 volts. That allows us to start off with a perfectly balanced battery. The good news is that the VoltaVox uh, BMS and their charging system will take care of that forever uh, afterwards, but we want to start off with a perfectly balanced pack. You'll notice the most important part of this whole solution is the near empty container of peanut butter filled pretzel. We call them pretzel pillows here at the Bloodshed. It's our main staple of nourishment. And uh, when you want to win, you do what you got to do. So semi empty containers make wonderful stands to be able to get this all up and, and configured. These are the ones left, and as you can see over here, aligning the wall, our completed cells, and some of, uh, actually, 
been placed in uh, one of the modules already. So we're almost there and ready to start final assembly of the individual module boxes, connect those up in series, install them in the car, and then, God willing, I get to test drive the car maybe an hour or two before the race and see what's going to happen with the weight, distribution, suspension changes, you know, stuff that's not that important, right? Except to me, because I'm driving. Anyway, you got to do what you got to do to win.